Ideas are the most vulnerable in their infancy, and we all have amazing ideas. I'm a believer that everybody in their lifetime has at least one million dollar idea, maybe even a billion dollar idea. But is our inclination as humans to immediately turn to our right or left and say to our friend, our coworker, our husband and wife, and say, hey, I have this idea, what do you think? And out of love and concern, they'll say, well, you know, if it's such a great idea, why hasn't anybody done it? Or things like that. And when you do that, you invite ego into the process really early on. And then you end up spending all of your time defending it and explaining it rather than pursuing it. And so I pursued the idea of Spanx for one year before I told anybody. And I'll, I sat my family down. I said, guys, you ready? They, all they knew was Sarah's working on some crazy idea. They didn't know what it was. And I sat him down and I said, OK, you ready? It's footless pantyhose. <laughs> right, you can imagine the response. They were like, what? And, uh, and then I got all the, out of total love, you know, if it's such a good idea, Sarah, why doesn't it, it already exist? And, you know, honey, even if this is a good idea, you're going to spend your $5,000 in savings, and within six months, the big guys could just knock you right out of the water. And I think, I really believe, Guy, that had I heard that in the minute that I had the idea and caught the feet out of my pantyhose, I really think I would not have started Spanx.